What's up guys, for all my normal subscribers, if you're not a Cubase user and you're not having problems with your uh, your conversion to the dongleless Cubase, then just go ahead and skip this video because it's going to be boring and ridiculous. Unless you have some interest, you know what's going on, cool, hang out with us, of course I want you here. But uh, this is for everybody who's having this problem. Thanks for coming, if you do, and uh, let's see if we can't get you squared away. My problem might not be your problem exactly, but some of the things that I did fix throughout this have a good chance of helping you out. Good luck. Hey everybody, happy Cubase day. I'm pretty excited about this Cubase upgrade. So I bought Cubase 11, the upgrade, back in September of 2021. <clears throat> and being that it was so recent, they uh, let me have it for free with everyone else, obviously, not just me <laughs> who bought it in September. I forgot what the cutoff date was. So we're going from Cubase 11 to it's a free upgrade to Cubase 12 Pro and uh, all the trials and tribulations that we went through of going from the old dongle system that they had to the new system that is dongle list praise all that is good and holy for that i have been nursing that goofy little dongle for probably longer than some of you have been alive <laughs> and i am going to throw it in my fireplace after we're done here so i may even video it for you i'm just kidding i'm not going to mess up my dongle or my fireplace but i probably will kick it around a little bit all right, here we go. Let's uh, show you if you've had any problems with this or you're having problems with this. Let's go ahead and get you squared up. So you got this screen and you have no idea what to do because nothing's working. You can't change anything and you did everything that the site says to do. If you have that problem, we'll get you through it in a sec. If you've had even more hairier problems, uh, like with the um, licensing manager post this, we got fixes for some of those problems too. So let's go ahead and run through this so you can see how to get it done. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is download this Steinberg Activation Manager. Even if you already have it, download the new one to make sure that you're up to date because this can only cause funky, subtle problems. Well, I guess they're really not so subtle. They do kind of slam your whole uh, thing into a stop, so that's not so subtle. But, uh, there you go. Get that done first. Next we're going to do is run the activation manager. <clears throat> we run it and it automatically takes us to the website to, to authenticate. We get that done real quick. And then this is going to pass you back to the application. So just hit OK here. It's just trying to send some information back to the application from the web. And then you get back to your installation manager. So we're going to go up here and you should see grace period check. I'm going to click that and we're going to click run check. Now here I was unsure. I had the window open for the old dongle license manager. Um, and I was unsure if I should have that open or not. So I decided to close it and get rid of it just in case. Sometimes that'll cause weirdness with Cubase if that's running. So we click to run this grace period check and this takes a little time. I cut a lot of it out so you don't have to wait through it. And then we get here and we go to update that license. And we want up here back at the website where then they're going to now send us a code via email so after this you want to head back to your email and grab the email from them and there should be a code two-thirds of the way down that thing yeah, it showed up really quick that was real time some people said it was slow it was not for me so you see your code right there So you want to cut and paste that code and then you want to run the download assistant. 
Now you should make sure that your download assistant is completely updated as well because it's it has the potential to cause problems so just make sure that that's up to date too before you even start any of this it forces you to update it so you're welcome to just run it and have it do the update like this this is where I wound up because I had forgot about it no I just cut a nice chunk of time out of that one too so realize this auto update took a little while I don't know if it was once again the download off the servers because it's day one but whatever it is your mileage may vary so now it's running the download assistant <clears throat> So yeah, I had some problems here logging in. Um, it was really nothing. It was once again, I think it was just the the overwhelming uh, burden that the servers were under. Trying it again here was all it took to get it to work. So now we get to the download assistant. And this is where things really get crazy. Hopefully it doesn't for you and it just installs right through. But this is where uh, some real big headaches came into play. And it took some poking around to go find the answers to what was going on. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hit this enter your download access code and put that code we copied off of the email back into this dialog. Hit OK. So we got our license activation code. We want to activate it now. And then there's this crazy error. This was a weird one. And this was apparently caused uh, after some research by a DLL that gets hung up in memory via the license manager for the dongle, is my understanding. Either way, we have the fix for you. So you want to hit control alt delete and uh, hit task manager bring up task manager and then look for this um, protected object server 32-bit right click hit end task nothing big will happen it'll just go away you can close the task manager at that point get back to your uh, cubase install here hit upgrade and everything should go smoothly now without that dll running believe it or not <laughs> Now, when I first came across this and it's asking me to activate this into a not upgradable thing, I was really, you can see me, I'm like, well, is that what I want to do? Because the one I have now is upgradable. Why do I want to change to Cubase 11? Not upgradable. Well, you're okay. Just hit it. That's not what you're doing. Just go ahead and hit that and everything will be okay. Okay, so moving forward does the license upgrade here. Hopefully everything goes well for you here. Like I said, it was smooth sailing after this, for me anyway. Now remember, this whole path here that I went through was going from, I had just upgraded to Cubase 11 back in September. So they gave me the upgrade for free. And this was that whole path to get from 11 on a dongle to being 12 in their new licensing manager. Uh, these problems may still exist for you regardless of your path of upgrade, uh, especially dealing with the, the dongle license manager. With that DLL problem that could come up, I could see in a number of situations. So just be aware of it. And uh, if these aren't your problems exactly, then uh, you know, let us know below and I'll see what I can figure out for you. So thanks for hanging out. We hope this was able to help you. If not, we hope you get your stuff straightened out. And if you like what we're doing over here, go ahead and please support us on Patreon. There is a link below and there's a link in front of you <laughs> for only three bucks. You can get all the wonderful Electric Rose videos in the future and a lot of extras too. So go check it out. And there's also some info, a tiny bit, about the new music library that I'm building. So check it out, that's available to you guys too. Have a good evening guys, and have a great weekend. <laughs>